Penny Harris embodies the spirit of Bill Keating Jr. Because Bill was truly someone who wanted to love and serve others. And he did that throughout his entire life. And through her work as a teacher, as an art teacher, through Penny's work at the Juvenile Detention Center, she truly pours love into her students. She truly serves her students and she helps them love and serve others. I am a Cincinnati Public School teacher and Cincinnati Public School teachers push into the detention center to teach the incarcerated youth. Some of them or are going away for a long time. The last little girl that just left me was with me for three years, and she just got a 28-year sentence. We also um, have kids that come and go all school year because, I'm quoting my little 12-year-old right now, in, in the building, he said he likes it there because he gets three meals a day, a bed to sleep on, and we have air conditioning. So some of them, it's a place that they feel loved. Penny is a teacher that fans the flame in the hearts of young people. She creates a space of belonging. She creates a space where youth are activated to create change despite barriers and despite obstacles. And that for me is what an educator for change is. Last year alone, she supported 21 incarcerated youth to achieve the necessary hours of service to receive their community service seal for graduation. That's 21 just last year. I don't even know what she has done the past, the five years that she's been with the Juvenile Detention Center, but she really is pushing them to prepare for a brighter and better future. It's that alone, and that's incorporating her Magnify Giving and Service Learning programming. And by doing that, which is not easy within a juvenile detention center, she has to get really creative to make this work, but that alone is going well above and beyond what she's being asked to do. They love to come to class in the detention center because they have no outside influences. They do not have social media. They do not have cell phones. They go to bed every night at eight o'clock. So when they come to art, they're so excited to be there and they never want to leave. They want me to come in on Saturdays because they love art so much and working hands-on. Penny is more than an art teacher. Um, Penny doesn't just know the research around the impact of service for youth. Uh, she sees it over the 20 plus years she's been a teacher and that inspires me that she's planting these seeds. We know that youth engaged in service will be more connected to their communities, they'll get better grades in school, and they'll be less likely to exhibit risky behavior. She's always been an advocate that her kids deserve to do service just like every other kid. And that's what inspires me. What motivates me to do this work is feeling like I've helped in some way. We know giving is good for all of us, right? But imagine youth who have very little control over their lives and the situations that they are experiencing and have probably been on the receiving end of services most of their life. And now they are given the opportunity to turn that table. And they are the ones who are positively impacting the community and giving back. Just imagine what that does for their well being. Giving is good. Penny is so inspiring and the thing about Penny that I love is that she makes it look so easy, and it can't be easy. But because of her huge heart and because of her willingness to be with kids, no matter what their circumstances or backgrounds are, and her dedication to social justice and to evening the playing field, she's just a joy to be with, and she's someone that we are so proud to celebrate through this award as an educator of excellence. 
I'm so honored to receive this award. A portion of it will go to a legal nonprofit so it can impact my students. And then the remainder will go towards art supplies so we can continue to make a difference.